YouTube, Island Tech Productions here. Over the last two weekends I got to test the 3DR solo capabilities in mid to high wind conditions. It works really well. I got to go test at both Onikahakaha here on the east side and Papuna Beach which is on the west side. And it tends to be pretty windy over there mainly because it's the drier side mixing with the cold ocean breezes anywhere between 20 to 35 mile an hour. But it's one of the nicer beaches on the Big Island. I shot everything on the GoPro Hero 4 using 4K resolution and the first thing I did off, right off the bat was see how it hovered. And there's some drifting. Overall the footage looks pretty good. When I tested out the selfie mode it just flew up and came back down and there seems no wobbling whatsoever. It was like literally on a cable cam. For high winds the quadcopter itself compensates really well. There's a reason why you pay a premium for it. You know, you, you get what you pay for. I did. I decided to just crank it up just to see what would happen. You know, raise the speed up, raise the pan. You know, I flew it that way, thinking I had to compensate for the winds. No, this is not what you want to do. You can see right off the bat in many of my shots I'm about to show you. You're gonna see the landing gear come down, especially when it comes to stop or you're accelerating, because you you're it's gonna go at a faster rate. It's gonna pitch at a much steeper angle. You know, even though this the the camera hangs way down. <laughs> Um, the field of view is so wide, especially shooting in 4K, that when it stops or makes a bank turn, the, the landing gear or the pylons are going to show up. Like I said, I tested at Hapunu Beach and the next one was at uh, Onikahakaha. We had slightly lower winds, but I noticed that it started to drift more. I think I, I think it was because I was lower, probably getting some ground effect. This usually happens between 3 to 6 feet for you know this size quadcopter. You got a pretty big weight coming from the four propellers, so you know, it tends to dance around more. Once you get into the smart shot modes and starts flying, the computer compensates really well. And just to recap, to get the best footage with your 3DR solo in high wind conditions, just fly as if you're flying in regular no wind conditions. Fly at low speeds and similarly with panning, 3DR recommends you shoot at 2.7K at medium format and 60 frames per second, that way you can slow stuff down. If you shoot at that uh, 2.7K, you definitely won't see the pylons. I recommend using uh, ND filter 2 or 4, especially on a sunny day, use 8. So for you 3R users, or Phantom user in fact, what is the highest wind conditions do you fly your thing at? Tune in every Thursday, click on the link below to subscribe to my channel. Fly safe and mahalo plenty.